Hey, um, Eagle Flies? Yes, that's your name. Right, right, right. We are here to steal some plans from Leviticus Cornwall so that he can't dig under the Native American land. And, well, Arthur doesn't like Leviticus Cornwall. So he's going to do this for a little bit of money. And I can't imagine this is really worth that much. I don't know. Seems a little dangerous. Yes? Any ideas how I sneak into this place? Sneakily. Wasn't I already here at some point? I feel like I was. Like, this is where I stole the wagon for John earlier? I don't know. Ideally. Look at Arthur back there. Sneaking our way in. Stealthily. In the night rain. Pretty sure Eagle Fly's father's name is uh, Rainfall. So, perchance, he is watching over us right now. Except he's alive, so he's not... I don't know. If he's watching over us, it'd be literally. He's not actually, like, a ghost. Okay, sneak into the factory. Okay. Right, let's make the map bigger. That's a thing you can do. You can enlarge the map, and that's pretty good, because now I can see... Did I just... My honor affected? What just happened there? Anyway, I have a clearer view of the enemies and where they are looking. It's important. Be very sneaky. Haven't had many uh, stealth missions in this game. A lot of it is following some kind of plan and then everything goes wrong and we have to shoot a bunch of people and hey there's plenty of opportunity for that I'm just saying besides giving a letter to Penelope Braithwaite this is about like the only other sneaky mission we've had so far there's that guy over there don't want him to see us of course that's the whole point of being sneaky Okay. I'm guessing we're going in this one. Since the light's on. Hey. You must be damn Barry. Oh, damn Barry. Who what? Quiet. Is your name who what or is it Dan Barry? Interrogate Dan Barry. I guess we gotta beat him. The old Batman style of punching them. And hoping they give answers. Danbury. Yes, sir. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file I'm from head office. You're not from head office. Ah, uh, he could be. Does that seem important right now? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why would he even say that? Like clearly he's not. Development company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I. I. You. You. You what? Kick your hat off your face, boy. Think, man. Mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially what are you saying? I, Psychological torture? I don't think that's in your wheelhouse, Arthur. Okay, am I gonna have to beat you again? <sighs> Give me that file now, boy. It's here. It's here. It's in the floor? <laughs> you got up so like, oh, alright, I'm just gonna... Oh, I'm just gonna walk over so calmly and now he's back to being scared. Okay Just have to walk over here first had to be on this side of the desk to grab the file Thank you Danbury You better not say nothing boy Tell the guard you're fine Yes, it's just I'm working all's fine Yes, that's the voice of a man who is definitely fine. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, escape the office through the window. I really am like Batman right now. Arthur, what are you doing? Okay, never mind. Maybe not. I want to get this all... Oh, I was going to say, don't want to get this outfit all dirty, but... I'm old. Hey. I'm from the head office or whatever. Oh, my... Okay, everything is leading to a shootout. Not, uh, not very surprising. That was, that was terrible. Oh. Shotgun is so brutal in this game. 
I mean, it is a shotgun. It's brutal in real life, too. Run! Are there... Just, just make a run for it. Oh, I didn't see even see that guy. Ooh. Ow! Oh my gosh, Arthur. This is so much more violent than I thought it would be. The music's cool, though. And that... Look at the visuals. Oh my gosh. It's so cool. It's just way more brutal than I thought. Run! There's a lot of enemies here. Oh, a lot of the dots disappeared. Ow! No, never mind. I'm, I'm getting hit. There's a lot of dots. Bullet-sized dots in my back. I don't know what I'm saying. Come on, Appaloosa. Let's go. Get out of here. Oh! The music in this game. The visuals. The aesthetic. The story. Yeah, this game is pretty good. That wasn't obvious. I might have to do some reverse shooting here. Oh. He's gone? Okay. Uh, ooh! Abelusa! How did I not get knocked off there? Oh, how did I not shoot eagle flies? You know, I'm glad I didn't, though. I was really close. Ooh. Hit him with the whole the whole loop-de-loop -loop turnaround maneuver. Good thing this gun has a decent fire rate. That was embarrassing. Okay. Yes. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, and I didn't wear a mask or anything, so. Alright. Yeah. I, I thought that too. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I mean, Arthur could have just used dead eye and he would have been fine, but maybe these will be of some use. I hope so. I doubt this will be the end of their story though. Considering the the mess we just made. Well, what do you know? You found us. How did you get All the way back from chapter 2. The uh the author writing the book about Jim Boy Calloway and the gunslingers. Things went a little They're down in Saint Denis. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I, I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, yeah, I uh, shot them with my gun and with the camera. Noticed it was you. Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. I mean, do you think anyone Eleven. would mind if I, if we said he'd done it, Boy Calloway? Sure, I don't sure. care. Just as long as I share the money, of course yes. I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business. Do you have a knife back there? It pays well. Especially when you lie. Is that Jim Boy? That's a goddamn fast. What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this grass name? Uh, uh, legendary uh, gunslinger right here. Know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. But I'm somebody. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. Somebody, you goddamn. I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, <laughs> it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me. What a way will work. Uh, damn you, Theodore Levin. You're a snake. Damn you. What? Damn you, nobody. Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, God. But I can't take credit for that, which I... Them says I didn't. I... I'm an old man. This never happened to Achilles, the Gawain, the Caesar. It can't happen to me. I will kill both of you. Whoa, ho, ho. I'm a legend. Yes, you are. <sighs> Let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't. But maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. Eh? Uh, maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here. Whoa, whoa. Now, yeah, we don't need to do that. Who shall we kill? I mean, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Now you're drunk and you're bored yeah. and you're a mess. <laughs> well, I always hid Slim Grant. You're a failure, but you know. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Slim, Slim Grant. Grant. This is him, an old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now out of Annisburg. State marshal? Well, we can't exactly go around killing state, state marshals. Marshal, do they? All right, I'll go well, get we could. We'll wait for 
you at Brandywine Drop. Why are we doing this? This is like extreme. Going after outlaws and just asking them stories. That's fine, but kidnapping a state marshal? You. I'm looking for Slim Grant. Well, not really kidnapping him, just looking for him. I don't know why I thought we were going to kidnap him. Mr. Marshall was here last week. I think he headed up to Beaver Hollow looking for some outlaws. You coming back? Sure, when he catches them fellers he's been after. Well, how long has he been gone? Well, a couple of days. Well, you ain't going to go look for him? If your boss's boss, who you all hated, who you all hated? I talk like this. This is how I sound. I'm the deputy of this here town. Well, yeah, probably. I didn't realize how big Arthur's hat was. <laughs> it's like ridiculous. I'll become marshal. I'll be a hero riding a horse from town to town, Mister. Think of that. Good luck with that. I will not be thinking of that, but uh, I will be looking for this guy. Though it looks like he was actually kidnapped. So first I thought we were going to kidnap him, then I realized, oh, why would we even kidnap him? There's no reason for that. Uh, but now I realize he's already been kidnapped, so we're going to re-kidnap him. But we're going to snipe these guys first. That guy's- whoa, what just happened there? What am I shooting? Oh, I got him, so... He's getting pretty close. Oh! Knocked him down. Ooh, tackle. Where's Slim Grim? Okay, well, he's dead, so. Can't ask him. Oh, I'm looking at a tree. I can't see anything. Oh, never mind. Got him. Could see him. Uh, yes, I did, Slim Grant. You had a slim chance of survival there. <laughs> oh, so I actually am going to be kidnapping him. I was right all along. First, I need to loot them, though. I want their stuff. Give me your give me your gold wedding ring and your fine brandy. Over here. Can you wait a second? I'm taking you to see an old friend of yours. It's a reunion, sort of. Will you stop being so damn cryptic? I can't. I have to keep... The dialogue going for as long as this horse ride lasts. So I was worried about kidnapping him because, you know, how do you kidnap a state marshal and get away with it? But if everybody really hates him, I don't think they're going to care. I think they got one guy said, he's like, I don't care if they have, if they, he gets caught or something because this is how I talk. Mm, it's a re, re, re abduction, re, rebuction. No, it's Slim Grant. Okay. Good thing we're we're gonna keep going, because I've run out of things to say. So uh Yeah. Okay. I want a different gun. And I want Slim Grant off of my horse. Place Slim Grant by Levin. Okay. What I can't place him like twenty feet away. So you got him. Yes I did. There he is. Did you kill his cousin back in 82? Uh, whose cousin? My cousin. Ooh. No Deadly showdown. And Two boys. And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I Whoa. Would. Whoa. Up. I was there. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. But I don't was Jim Boy now. Calloway a coward? Years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me. Mm. It's a bit late, isn't it? Uh-oh. Damn you. Oh. Okay. Not exactly a heroic shootout. Well, He's killed a man with his back bad, turned. Man. I shot him in the back. I shot him in the goddamn back. When these things happen. Yes, yes, God you did. Damn you, goddamn both of you. What? Not my fault. You should have shot him twenty years ago. He's dead now. You are a sickness scum like you. I literally did nothing. Oh, I guess it's fitting. One final duel. Sorry about this, boy. Ooh, I did not mean to go for a nut shot. Oh my! I 
I just... Shit, indeed. I didn't mean Still, to be that brutal. I was just going to shoot him in the head, but... He died in a very brutal way. I did not expect that. No, oh my! I'm I, I'm upset. I'm happy. I'm free. Well, this guy's happy. I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one. What stopped you from leaving? You could have just left. He's an old drunk man. Just leave when you're. He's passed out. Well, he's dead now. Shot him in the balls. And uh, he will not be recovering from that. After he mortally wounded Slim Grant. Mm-hmm. Embellishing the truth the as in a complete lie. Well, Makes you wonder how much of history was actually a lie. There's more? Oh, no, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and then rewrite history. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, hey, where do I send the money? Send it to Tacitus Kilgore. No. That ain't my real name. Wonder how much money we're gonna get from that. Enough money to escape and go somewhere else? So, the mayor of Saint Denis wanted to meet with us. That's what we learned before we went out and helped the Native Americans. Idealism and pragmatism for beginners. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, sorry. I'm looking for uh, the, the mayor. mayor. The mayor. Please. Mr. Kilgore, or what was it? Uh, yes. I forget, <laughs> I forget which fake know. name I used. Was it Kilgore, Callahan, or something or other? I don't know. Monsieur Lemieux? Monsieur Lemieux? I am very French. Uh, oh, hello, friend. Hello. Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, really? Okay. Now. What? You got a problem with my name, boy? And are you? <laughs> Rob, you, sir, I have no idea what you are proclaiming there, sir. Don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people who want to speak to you. The Mr. people at the church Mr. like me. I know. The artist guy likes me. About you from me. But the uh, uh, yeah, there's always a photographer problem. guy likes me. The politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous, killing. Oh dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. Yeah, I'm I think sure terrifying people is like no, killing them, but you just you don't kill them. You see, I've been trying to open a you can quote me on museum, that. a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Art. Art. Yes. And how do you buy art? Money. I don't know. Money. I buy art of some nasty little man <gasps> from Paris. Hey. Me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters. That Is that the guy I'm thinking of? He may have been painting himself. Ouch. Oh. This is a different guy, a different but French artist. These are good paintings. So many artists. I can't make the difference. And I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. Unless it is the same French so, artist. So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur. Oh, I mean, Mr. Mm, 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 he knows. To little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. Saint-Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Bonne chance. Yeah, I think the gang coming to Saint-Denis, like, they're in way over their head. Because between Bronte and the mayor, like, they're playing this gang. They, they are much, uh, more powerful than maybe they, they realize, you know. They have such disdain for big civilization, but... It seems like they didn't quite realize that big civilization's got a lot of power, got a lot of reach. An overeducated American, what does that mean? I'm flying on this thing also. Why are we stopping? Okay. I guess we were waiting for this cart. Yeah, get out of the way. I don't care. Oh, almost crashed. This thing is flying though. Good, good spot. Mr. Artu. What's his name again? Officer Shift Taker. Professor? Professor Shift Aker. Oh. Hello. The mayor 
best mate to get a preview of your findings in there. The mayor knows very well what I found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big claim. One that's going to upset a lot of people. Myself included. Now, me and my big hat going to have to teach you a lesson, mister. Now, I've got a train to catch. You just say something about cheese? What are you talking about? Take a fist in your Ooh. This guy just immediately fell to the ground. I didn't even, I literally didn't even do anything. I just said, I'm going to punch you, and he just peeled over. Might have to beat you, boy. Might have to beat you, boy. Don't make me do it, boy. Don't make me do it, boy. Ugh. I had to do it, boy. Okay. Is really far less important than a broken nose. Yes, sir. I, I, I see that now. The thing is, now people are going to look at those paintings and love them. So you're helping people, uh, really. I, you know I'm right, Professor. Please do not get me upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you're going to send the mayor what he needs. He could just keep, you know, telling him so that the paintings are frauds after Arthur leaves. You know, Arthur's no, not going to no, kill him. We don't want that. Of course we don't. I'll write my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. Get out of here, boy. Turn to Jean-Marc. Okay. That was something. We punched a guy one time. I did not mean to break through that gate so aggressively. <laughs> but, uh, okay, I guess we'll go back here. So, turns out. All those paintings were real after oh, all. Wow. So, wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Sure. Was uh, Professor Schiftecker happy to change his mind? Very yeah. happy after I stopped punching him. He came around in the end. Oh, my lord. This is not right. Trust me, I've done much worse. I shall burn in hell for this. Here's open. Yeah. The mayor asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you. I'm assuming this is only the start of a... Uh, Helping out the mayor with his little activities like this. Of, uh, corruption and whatnot. Hey, Sadie. What's up? Horseman Apocalypses. That doesn't sound very good. We have joined High Society, and, uh, High Society is not letting go of us. I'm working for the mayor, Dutch is working for Bronte. It's not going too great. Actually, we did get quite a bit of money, but we got to get out of here like soon. I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Hey, Dutch. We need to talk. Okay. Will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over. Bye, Sadie. You're like one of the best characters in this game. Yes. Now I gotta go talk with Master Manipulator. The trolley bus station. I went down there. Did you now? Look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> yes, I but uh in a city before. Well, you it's just dangerous. To me. You'll ride with yeah, but leave the planning to you. I, I always leave the planning to you and then everybody dies. I say Lenny, not Micah. Well that depends if you want a massacre or a fate. That's true. I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Yeah, tell Micah to stop like murdering people and all the horrible nasty things he does. What is that? That looks like somebody riding on a horse. Oh What the hell have they done to you? Oh they have a tree line. What? The O'Driscolls. Kieran's been gone like this, like so much of this game, and now he comes back decapitated, riding in on the horse. That was gross. I did not expect that at all. Them O'Driscoll punks are gonna pay. They're coming at us the whole game, following us all throughout this place. To be fair, it's not like our our safe areas are that far away from each other. This gun is so much range. 
Whoa. I hear you, Dutch, but I'm I'm getting a kill streak. And I call in a tactical nuke. I'm I'm going, alright. Come on. The Driscoll's went too far this time though. They did kill Kieran. Who yes, I feel bad now that we kidnapped Kieran and almost cut his balls off, but you know, I guess he came around in the end. He did help Arthur, and um, I guess he wanted to go fishing a few times. He didn't really play that much of a role in the game, I'm going to be honest. He was just kind of there. Um, oh, John. That was not good. You just saw you get shot. Don't worry, I'll shoot these guys, though. Yeah, what a nasty way to go. Decapitated? To be honest, I kind of forgot about him. He just was just gone for so long. I guess we know why he wasn't really around that much. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get up in here. Why? Yes, they have wagons, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Treat back to the mansion, okay. Fall back. Fall back. Run. Run. Okay. Push the cabinet. Okay, this is intense, guys. Can I push this little tiny cat? This is like such a small cabinet. Why is it so heavy? That's like barely in front of the door. <laughs> That's like the worst barricade I've ever seen. What is that gonna do? Go, go, go. Oh. I, I, okay, can I? I got him. John, get it together. John, that. Come on, John. I know you're not the, the loser you were at the start of the game. Give me a head count. Gosh. This pistol is so good. That's Sadie? No. Alright. I don't really care that Kieran died, but if Sadie died, that would be annoying. Can I jump through the window? Jump. Arthur, jump through the wind. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, Sadie. Don't be dead. I, I couldn't jump through a window. Oh, okay. Really bad. I'm coming. Don't worry. Oh. I don't think I needed to worry about anything. She seems to have that under control. To be fair, she really hates the O'Driscolls for them killing her husband, so... Let's go. Uh, no, we don't. I think she's uh she's got this under control. Or well, maybe she's getting shot quite a bit. Oh my hat! Ooh, doesn't matter. I got a cool headshot. Ooh. Oh, hide hide behind this little tiny box. There you go. Okay. Ow, my gosh. The O'Driscolls. They've gotten much better at aiming. And so have I. This is a far cry from how... Ooh. Ooh. How bad I was. At the start of this game. I've gotten used to the controls. Oh, oh, oh. I think he's dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Run. Okay. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Thank you, Charles. Ow. Sorry. Hold on. Got him. Got him. Ooh. Right between Charles. That was pretty cool. Got him. Did the quick draw. Quick fire. You ain't getting out of here, boy. There you go. No more O'Driscolls getting out of here. They come into our home and attack us like that and think they could just get away? That's nasty. That's gross. So are we going after the O'Driscolls? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson. Yes, we do, Hosea. Come on now, work. 
Or are we just leaving his head behind? Oh. Okay, that's gross. Can I gouge his eyes out too? I guess they didn't come to a peace agreement when uh, Arthur got kidnapped. Yes, we should start looking for another camp that isn't like a brief horse ride away from our last camp. So that we can actually put some distance between ourselves and everyone trying to kill us. That's just my, that's just my plan. Dutch. Yeah. Yep. I think John maybe is. I think John and Arthur are both starting to realize that Dutch is maybe a little, uh. a little out there with his plans. Not quite so eager to support him blindly. He saved my life. I could not save his. Yeah. Poor Kieran. Fought than any of us. That she did. That she, she did. He is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Charles is the name of the French artist, uh, whose name I kind of forgot earlier. I'm talking to the mayor. There he is, dressed as a as a woman, sort of. I would say he's dressed as a woman, but it seems like he's more just wearing women's clothing. As bad as it is, I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave, go far away. We will never understand you here. I say, I go to Saint Denis. They say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. So where are you going? It doesn't matter. Now I go to South Pacific. South Pacific. They tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so Maybe the problem isn't you your work. You Maybe the problem you the is you. <laughs> Causing problems everywhere you go. Matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. You know, I've helped you this much so far, I guess. I guess I'll help you out some more. Just don't cause any more problems. Up here. She is my ship. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> we made it. Let's go. Oh. oh no, 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 These people. No, no, no. Oh, what? Yo, what are you doing? Assailant? I did not expect a fist fight. Look, I'm. Oh, what are you doing, dude? Out of here. Ooh, okay, he dodged. All right, three. Oh, whoa! I was gonna say three v one is bad, but then I get hit with a a knife. Use a tomahawk. Ow! You know. Oh, whoa! How did I trip? What just happened there? You know what? Fine. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> I failed the mission? Or did I just die? What just happened? Alright, let's try that again. Tomahawk? Got that ready to begin with? Get out of here. <laughs> He's gone. Don't make me. Don't make me. Whoa, whoa. Ooh, did you see that count? Arthur, stop kicking. Hit the guy with the knife. There you go. Oh my gosh. That went so poorly. Okay, Charles, get out of here. Things have gone so poorly. Yeah. That was that was something. That was <laughs> something. I can't believe I tripped and died like that. Oh yes, I hear there. The light is really fantastic. Au revoir. Saint Denis, a place of very interesting characters. There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. Whoa. What are you mad at me for? Some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? Exactly. We leave forever. We've been well, doing well. Really, on, Dutch. I think I've been saying that together, this whole game. I mean, you can't hear me cuz I'm really just talking to myself. But I've been saying that this whole game. I'm just saying. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. Tahitians. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. 
I I doubt it. I doubt this this small little trolley station is uh gonna have enough money for us to completely like the entire gang to start all new lives in another country. No, granted, there's probably a decent amount of money in there, but not as not that much. So. Give me your money, boy. Just want money. Thank you. Was... you. Okay, like a dollar. And a wedding ring. Fun. Why did he give me a wedding ring? Why am I getting low honor for this? I'm supposed to be robbing these people. That's the mission. We're robbing this place. Is that not honorable? I mean, it isn't honorable. My point is, the mission itself is not honorable. So why am I getting low honor for taking more money? Yeah, like I was saying, I didn't think this would really be a, a place where they'd store a lot of money. Dutch, your plans are just absurd. And I really, I just, I don't want to follow your plans anymore. I don't want to follow you. This entire game, you've been leading us into nothing but dangerous situations with no reward. Move out of the way. Yeah, there's like nothing in here. It's a trolley station. It's not a bank. Who told you? It was a setup. Yep. Oh, Dutch. Save it. That is a trolley. I'm glad you figured that out, Dutch. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. Dutch, you know how to work a trolley? <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. This is cool. How are we ever going to make... It? My aim is so bad. How are we ever going to make our way back into Sandini after this? Well, this is the end of our, our tour in Sandini. I don't know. Big city li living or... Big city dying. Who's that? Get out of here. Nah, he's gone. My aim is terrible. My aim is not doing it doing too well this mission. I guess that's what Dead Eye is for though. Ooh, ooh, through the railing? Oh, that guy's very dead. Really? There's people everywhere. This, like, is every single person in this city a cop? What are you, are you telling me to slow you down? How am I supposed to do it? I don't know how to work a trolley. Um, I think the controls are broken. Yeah, I think we might actually be going to Tahiti. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh gosh. You good there, Arthur? Are you, like, alive? Like, you okay there? Dutch? You have, like, a concussion or something? You better get that checked out. There's a lot of people. Okay. Um, I'll do a wheel. Ow! Really? Come on. Get out of here. This is not going too well. Ooh. Let's hope so. I mean, it's bad enough how it is now. I don't want you to have a head injury and cause even more problems for us. Oh! A Matrix dodged that. Get out of here. How many cops are in this city? Ooh. Ooh, look at that shot. Ah. Amazing. Let's go. Get out of here. All right. Our, our great escape. Wanted dead or alive. Okay, so yeah, I guess Dutch did get a head injury. 
As I was saying, Dutch, it's it, your plans are bad enough in like a normal mental state. Uh, maybe you should get that head injury checked out so you don't completely lose your mind, all right, please? Maybe that should be our first priority when we get back. Oh, that guy's flailing around. Yep, there's a lot of them. Got you, got you. I, I don't even know if I just targeted the cop. I may have just selected a normal person. I don't know, I shot them. Blow, there we go. Oh, it's so cool. My dead eye is low, yeah. Get out of here. It's like every single person in this town is a cop. Dutch, nobody can hear you right now. Okay. Ah, oh, very close. Hey, he's gone. Can't get him. Let's go. Um, just something to refill my my dead eye. A little bit. There we go. Use what? Where did you get dynamite from? I can't. It won't let me aim. It didn't let me aim until after it blew up. It worked though, so okay. <laughs> the game just wouldn't let me do anything. All right. Well, that was something. We went from dead out, dead or alive to a bounty of $165. That's a little bit better, I, I guess. All right, are we, are we clear? Have we escaped San Denis? I mean, we're not that far away from the town. This seems like a pretty bad place to stop. You know what, Just out in the middle of a road, like Next two time, minutes away. It's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I it know, seemed like well, a good lead. We made it, thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. And we each got $15. Nice, we're rich. Fifteen dollars and twenty-five cents. Set us up. You seem to get set up and betrayed and hurt every time something goes wrong, Dutch. What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. Yeah. He don't want the likes of you. So. What are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. Yes. One more decent take, and we're gone. You said that the whole game. The, is our the whole game, Dutch. Agrees. Even after that, especially after that. I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on, I'm taking you back to camp. Yeah, right. get that checked you did out. Real good there, Lenny. Just Get that checked out. Could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. No, you can't.